That's good. Oh, no, I'm very serious, Rachel. It's time you start taking more responsibility around here. I do stuff. Oh, good. Now I only have to give this speech once. <laughs> That's what you sound like, yeah, you know. No. <laughs> Is that where you get your advice on TV? Well, you know, there was this one woman in your same situation. At 60, Layla Roshan, the Hollywood icon whose brilliance once lit up the silver screen, now navigates a life that resonates with a somber undertone. Her journey, adorned with cinematic successes, takes a poignant turn as we explore how she lives today, a narrative colored by shadows of sadness. Amidst the glitz and glamour of Hollywood, Roshan's life has been a tapestry of triumphs and challenges. The once vibrant actress, who graced screens in iconic roles, now finds herself in a chapter where the hues of her existence carry a touch of melancholy. The spotlight that once celebrated her on-screen performances now casts a softer glow on the personal intricacies of Roshan's life. Behind the scenes, the narrative unfolds, revealing the weight of experiences that have sculpted her journey. It's not merely a story of age, but a reflection on how she lives, and the emotions that paint her days with shades of sadness. This exploration delves into the complexities of Roshan's personal landscape, acknowledging the storms she weathered in the public eye. The lens focuses on a chapter marked by marital turbulence, a tale that unfolded amidst media scrutiny. Yet, in the face of adversity, Roshan's resilience shines through, and her response to challenges is a testament to her strength. As she stands at the crossroads of 60, the narrative shifts from the glimmer of Hollywood to the intimate spaces of family and personal connections. Here, the sadness is not a surrender, but a nuanced reflection of a life lived authentically, free from the gloss of cinematic scripts. Layla Roshan at 60 becomes a symbol of the universal journey of aging, an exploration of the shared experiences of growth, change, and resilience. This is not just the story of an actress, it's a reflection on the ebb and flow of life, a story that resonates with the essence of living, embracing the shadows as integral parts of a rich, well-lived narrative. In the unpredictable and often tumultuous world of show business, the journey to stardom is a narrative as diverse as the myriad of talents it encompasses. Layla Roshan's ascent to fame serves as a compelling chapter in this larger-than-life story, a tale of passion, perseverance, and the pursuit of artistic fulfillment. Layla Roshan Staples, born on April 17, 1964, in Los Angeles, California, emerged as a talented actress whose journey into the limelight began with humble roots and a passion for storytelling. Growing up in the vibrant city of Los Angeles, Roshan's childhood was infused with the cultural diversity that would later become a hallmark of her career. Raised in a family that cherished creativity, she found inspiration in the artistic tapestry of the city. Her early exposure to the entertainment industry, nestled in the heart of Hollywood, planted the seeds for a future that would see her grace both the big and small screens. Roshan's journey into the world of performing arts took a significant step when she enrolled at the California State University, Dominguez Hills. Here, she honed her acting skills and immersed herself in the craft that would become the focal point of her professional life. The academic environment provided a solid foundation, combining theoretical knowledge with practical experience, preparing Roshan for the challenges and opportunities that lay ahead. Roshan's decision to invest in her education demonstrated a commitment to honing her craft beyond the glitz of the entertainment industry. The academic setting allowed her to explore the intricacies of acting, laying the groundwork for a career that would later see her excel in diverse roles. Layla Roshan's entrance into the entertainment industry came in the early 1980s, marked by her debut in the television. In 1984, Roshan appeared as an extra in the movie Break In, where she met the man who would later become her husband. From 1986 to 1988, while attending college, Roshan was one of the Spudettes featured in over 30 national spots for the Spuds Mackenzie Budweiser Bud Light TV commercials. She had many guest starring roles in a number of sitcoms that includes The Cosby Show, Amen, 227, The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, and Hang In with Mr. Cooper. Roshan made her film debut in 1985, when she starred opposite Fred Williamson in Fox Trap. In 1987, she played the role of Debbie in the film The Wild Pair, starring Beau Bridges. Roshan acted opposite Eddie Murphy in 1989's Harlem Nights as the memorable Sunshine character. She again worked with Murphy in the successful 1992 romantic comedy, Boomerang. In 1995, she was regular cast member during the first season of the WB sitcom, The Wayans Bros. 
In 1995, Roshan landed one of the lead roles opposite Whitney Houston in the adaptation of the Terry McMillan novel and highly successful drama film Waiting to Exhale. She played the character Robin Stokes, for which she was nominated for an MTV Movie Award for Best Breakthrough Performance and NAACP Image Award for Outstanding Supporting Actress in a Motion Picture. In 1996, Roshan starred opposite Timothy Hutton in the Showtime Cable Network film Mr. and Mrs. Loving, receiving a Cable Ace Award nomination for Best Actress. Later that year, she played the female lead in the crime thriller film The Chamber. The following year, she starred alongside Tupac Shakur in the crime thriller Gang Related. In 1998, Roshan had the leading role in the romantic drama Why Do Fools Fall in Love. In 2001, Roshan made her return to television with one of leading roles in the lifetime crime drama series The Division. She left the series after a single season. Roshan co-starred opposite Katie Holmes in the romantic comedy film First Daughter. She had cameo in crime drama Brooklyn's Finest directed by her husband, Antoine Fuqua. In 2013, she played one of leading roles in Regina King's directorial debut you Let the Church Say Amen, the film adaptation of Rashonda Tate Billingsley's 2005 novel for BET. In 2017, she had a recurring role in the CBS crime drama series Training Day, and in 2019 on the Oprah Winfrey Network drama David Makes Man. Roshan continued to navigate Hollywood's landscape, taking on diverse roles that showcased her range as an actress. From comedic roles in The Wyans Bros, to dramatic performances in The Chamber and The Big Hit, she demonstrated her ability to seamlessly transition between genres. Her on-screen presence and ability to breathe life into characters contributed to her growing reputation as a respected actress. Beyond the glitz of Hollywood, her personal life added depth to her narrative. Now let's delve into Layla's personal life, the actress who was married twice. Her first marriage was to dancer and actor Adolfo Quinones, better known as Shaba Du, was from 1982 until divorcing in 1987 five years after. In 1999, she entered a new chapter by marrying director Antoine Fuqua. Actress Leila Roshan Fuqua and husband director Antoine Fuqua have one of those Hollywood marriages committed to family first and career second. Leila Fuqua, who starred in such films as Waiting to Exhale, Harlem Nights, and the television movie Ruby Bridges, met Fuqua, who directed last year's phenomenal hit Training Day in 1997, when the two were in Hong Kong working on different projects. She was promoting Knock Off with Jean-Claude Van Damme, and he was shooting The Replacement Kaylers. It was the night of the handover, when China was getting its independence back from Britain, Roshan Fuqua recalled. There was a huge celebration and we met at a party in Hong Kong. It was pretty much love at first sight. We went on this really long, long date all over the island going to parties because over there they sleep by day and party all night. It's pretty unbelievable, but we ended up naming our daughter Asia as corny as that is. She lost a child to miscarriage while filming The Division, the law enforcement cable TV series, and during that time her work schedule was too demanding and super hectic. This industry isn't very accommodating when you're pregnant as I found out. They really don't care. I was working 16, 20 hours a day, which is hard to do when you're pregnant. The schedule was horrible, not accommodating, and I lost the baby. It was the saddest moment of my life. I was five months pregnant, going on six. So I left the show and I rested and had a healthy pregnancy the next time. I had to stay in the bed for the last four or five months and lie on my side. Shortly after her first miscarriage, the actress became pregnant again, and at this time she decided she was going to take a break off work until she gives birth and her baby Asia was born very healthy. Roshan Fuqua quickly pointed out that there will be no Hollywood nannies for her daughter. She takes her almost everywhere she and Fuqua go. On those other occasions, she said her mother assists them. Now, I am ready to go back to work, she said. It didn't take long for big and small screen offers to begin rolling in. They were calling me nine weeks after I had her. That was too soon but I'm ready now. Layla's husband, Fuqua, who is one of Hollywood's busiest and most successful directors, who has worked with A-list actors churning out successful, critically acclaimed movies during an interview accompanied by his wife, was asked how he balances his work and his family, then he replied saying, for me, it's my family and my work. I couldn't do this without them. It's too difficult and too painful without them, he admit, Ted. The work is hard and when I come home and I review all the film shot that day and I pretty much do that until 2 a.m. and then sometimes up and out by 5 a.m., not seeing your family is tough. 
it's a lonely job. That's why I committed to taking the family with me while shooting King, I need them, he said. The Fuquas, including a then 10-year-old Zachary and six-month-old Asia, made sure that his family always gets priority. Even taking the kids on location shoots, Layla expresses herself by saying how great it feels, watching her husband turn into a very powerful man, and it's really exciting, she said. Our marriage is very clear. I have to be strong and have a lot of trust. But the trust came crashing when their union faced turbulence, and the media attention reached a crescendo when Fuqua was photographed in a compromising situation with actress Nicole Murphy. The scandal cast a shadow on Roshan's private life, thrusting her into the unforgiving gaze of the public eye. So Nicole was a hot topic, she still is, for kissing a married man. The scandal that shook Roshan's world came to light in 2019 when photographs surfaced showing Fuqua in an intimate embrace with actress Nicole Murphy. The images, taken during a trip to Italy, immediately ignited a media frenzy and thrust Roshan into the harsh glare of public scrutiny. The scandal not only laid bare the alleged infidelity within Roshan's marriage, but also sparked a broader conversation about the challenges faced by individuals in the public eye. As news of the scandal spread, media outlets dissected every angle, offering opinions and analysis on the intricacies of Roshan and Fuqua's relationship. Social media, a powerful amplifier of public sentiment, became an arena where fans and critics alike expressed their views. The court of public opinion, often unforgiving, rendered judgments on the personal lives of those involved, adding an additional layer of complexity to an already emotionally charged situation. Public discussions around celebrity scandals tend to elicit polarized responses. Some sympathize with Roshan, recognizing the pain and humiliation that can accompany such a public betrayal. Others viewed the scandal through a lens of sensationalism, feeding into the broader culture of celebrity gossip that permeates modern media. However, Nicole Murphy, who is finally speaking out on the kiss, seen around the world. The model and reality star, who was famously married to Eddie Murphy, was seen kissing director Antoine Fuqua at a hotel pool in Italy. The actress reportedly issued a statement saying she and Fuqua, who is married to actress Layla Roshan, are just family friends, and had simply exchanged a friendly hello. Telling TMZ, without going into the entire situation, I want to apologize to my family, and to Layla and Fuqua family for what transpired. Later on, Murphy appeared on The Wendy Williams Show to give her official side of the story and apologize to anyone she may have hurt, including Roshan. It was a frozen-in-time thing, Murphy told Williams, who experienced her own share of marital issues this year. Trust me, I wish it didn't happen. It was a moment where I should have thought more through the situation. Make better judgments. It's something I apologized for. Um, I should, well, I think it was a moment where I should have thought more through the situation, um, made better judgments, you know? So it's something that I apologize for. Murphy says at the time, Fuqua was in Italy for a film festival, and she was also there for business. She also clarifies that the alleged statement issued on her behalf, claiming Fuqua was just a family friend, was 100% fake news. There was a statement that was released. I did not put out that statement, she revealed. I was actually on an airplane coming back from Europe. But wait, there's more. Murphy goes on to address accusations from actress Lisa Ray McCoy, who went public with claims that she had an affair with her ex-husband Michael Misick. It's not true, Murphy says of the accusation. Her husband released a statement saying it's not true. Nobody focused on that issue. Ultimately, Murphy says what happened between her and Fuqua is a lesson on doing your research before dating someone, because this could happen to you. It was a moment that should not have happened. I regret it, Murphy said. I apologize for it. I'm a human being. It was a mistake. At the moment, maybe I had a different impression of their marriage. Directing the apology to Roshan, Murphy says, Darling, it was a mistake. I apologize. Layla Roshan has yet to speak on this situation publicly, but did delete her social media pages right after the photos of her husband were released. She was later wearing her wedding ring. Fuka has said nothing publicly about the matter. In the wake of the scandal, one of the most notable aspects of Roshan's response was her choice to maintain a degree of privacy. Unlike some celebrities who might issue public statements or conduct interviews to address personal controversies, Roshan opted for a quieter approach. This decision underscored a desire to shield her personal life from further public scrutiny and emphasized the importance of preserving a semblance of privacy even in the face of intense media attention. Her silence, while subject to interpretation, became a form of communication in itself. 
In an era where the boundaries between public and private are increasingly blurred, Roshan's decision to navigate the aftermath privately showcased a resilience that transcended the expectations placed on individuals in the public eye. The unfolding scandal also prompted discussions about the role of the media in perpetuating and sensationalizing personal controversies. The ethics of reporting on private matters, particularly those involving individuals who are not public figures themselves, became a focal point of debate surrounding Roshan's scandal. While celebrities are undoubtedly subject to a higher degree of public scrutiny, questions emerged about the responsibility of media outlets in shaping narratives that extend beyond the professional achievements of individuals. Roshan's scandal shed light on the broader conversation about the delicate balance between the public's right to information and the individual's right to privacy. For individuals in the entertainment industry, personal scandals often carry implications beyond the private realm. Roshan, whose career had been marked by notable achievements, found herself at a crossroads where the scandal threatened to overshadow her professional accomplishments. The dynamics of Hollywood are often unforgiving, with public image playing a significant role in career trajectories. The scandal, while undeniably a personal matter, had the potential to impact Roshan's standing in the industry. Navigating the delicate balance between personal challenges and professional responsibilities required a resilience that extended beyond the boundaries of the scandal itself. Despite the challenges, Roshan's professional journey continued. The scandal did not mark the end of her career, but rather added a layer of complexity to the narrative. In the ever-evolving landscape of show business, where public perceptions can shape career trajectories, Roshan's journey through the scandal became a period of introspection and self-discovery. The challenges she faced became an opportunity to reevaluate priorities, redefine boundaries, and focus on aspects of her life that extended beyond the controversy. In the aftermath of the scandal, Roshan embraced personal growth as a guiding principle. The tumultuous experience became a catalyst for self-discovery, a process that allowed her to emerge with newfound strength and a clearer sense of self. In the tapestry of Hollywood, where stories are woven through the lens of the silver screen, certain individuals leave an indelible mark that extends beyond the frames of the cinema. Layla Roshan, born on April 17, 1964, in Los Angeles, California, is one such luminary whose legacy and impact resonate as a testament to talent, resilience, and a transformative contribution to the entertainment industry. Layla Roshan emerged in an era where the representation of African-American actresses in mainstream cinema was limited, but she stepped into the spotlight and carved a path through the industry's challenges, breaking down barriers that had long hindered diversity. Roshan's legacy is, in part, defined by her unwavering commitment to portraying authentic characters that resonated with audiences who had been yearning for nuanced depictions of African-American experiences. Her roles, notably that of Robin Stokes in the 1995 film waiting to exhale, transcended the superficial, offering a glimpse into the complexities of women's lives, particularly those of African-American women. The film, directed by Forrest Whitaker and adapted from Terry McMillan's novel, became a cultural touchstone, heralding a shift in Hollywood's portrayal of diverse narratives. One of the hallmarks of Roshan's legacy is her versatility as an actress. Her ability to seamlessly transition between genres showcased not only her talent, but also her refusal to be pigeonholed into predefined roles. From comedic performances in television series like The Wyans Bros, to intense and dramatic roles in films such as The Chamber and The Big Hit, Roshan demonstrated a range that transcended conventional expectations. Her versatility extended beyond the characters she portrayed. It became a testament to the evolving landscape of opportunities for African-American actresses in an industry that has often struggled to embrace diversity. By refusing to be confined to stereotypes, Roshan contributed to a narrative shift, signaling that talent knows no boundaries and that actresses of color are capable of embodying a spectrum of roles. While Roshan's impact is undeniably felt through her on-screen performances, it extends far beyond the realm of Hollywood. Her role as a public figure and a woman navigating the complexities of fame set the stage for broader discussions about representation, the challenges faced by African-American actresses, and the importance of diverse voices in shaping cultural narratives. In an era where conversations about diversity and inclusion have gained momentum, Roshan's journey serves as a touchstone. Her influence reverberates through the ongoing dialogue dialogue about the need for authentic representation, both in front of and behind the camera. Roshan, by merely existing authentically
authentically in the public eye, has become a symbol of empowerment for those who aspire to follow in her footsteps. The true measure of an individual's impact often lies in their response to adversity. Roshan faced a highly publicized scandal involving her marriage to director Antoine Fuqua. The incident thrust her into the harsh glare of public scrutiny, testing not only her personal resilience, but also becoming a litmus test for the industry's capacity to navigate private challenges with empathy. Roshan's response to the scandal was characterized by a dignified silence, a deliberate choice to protect the privacy of her personal life. This decision to maintain a level of discretion showcased a resilience that transcended the expectations placed on public figures to air their personal challenges for public consumption. In doing so, Roshan became an example of navigating personal storms with grace and choosing to focus on the aspects of life that transcend the transitory nature of scandal. As Hollywood undergoes a transformative shift toward recognizing the need for increased diversity and inclusivity, Roshan stands as a trailblazer whose impact reverberates through the changing landscape. The industry is gradually acknowledging the importance of narratives that reflect the richness of human experiences, and Roshan's journey becomes a beacon in the ongoing narrative of inclusivity. Her legacy serves as a reminder that the impact of individuals extends beyond their time in the spotlight. By embracing the challenges and triumphs of being a woman of color in Hollywood, Roshan has become an inspiration for aspiring actresses who seek to navigate the complexities of an industry undergoing a paradigm shift. Roshan's legacy extends into realms of advocacy and empowerment. While her on-screen performances contributed to reshaping cultural narratives, her influence is amplified by her dedication to social causes and her efforts to uplift marginalized voices. Roshan's involvement in philanthropy and her commitment to being a voice for change positions her as a force for positive impact beyond the confines of entertainment. Her advocacy for inclusivity, diversity, and social justice aligns with a broader movement within Hollywood and society at large. By using her platform to amplify underrepresented voices, Roshan contributes to a legacy that transcends all boundaries. In reflecting upon Layla Roshan's life at 60, the narrative takes a poignant turn, offering glimpses into the nuanced layers of her experiences. While it is crucial to approach discussions about individuals' lives with sensitivity, it is equally important to acknowledge that the public portrayal of a person may not encapsulate the entirety of their reality. As we consider the notion that how she lives is sad, it prompts a contemplation of the challenges, triumphs, and personal growth that have shaped Roshan's journey. The lens through which her life is viewed, particularly as she enters the sixth decade, is one that demands empathy and and a recognition of the complexities inherent in every human existence. The sadness alluded to may stem from a variety of sources, an intimate struggle, personal losses, or the weight of navigating the demands of public life. It is a reminder that behind the glamorous facade of Hollywood, individuals grapple with the same emotions and trials that define the human experience. In the public eye, Roshan has weathered storms that unfolded not just on movie screens, but in the tabloids and digital realms. The controversies and personal challenges she faced, notably the 2019 scandal involving her marriage to director Antoine Fuqua, thrust her into a harsh spotlight. The narrative surrounding this period was undoubtedly tumultuous, and the emotions tied to it may linger, contributing to the perception of a life marked by sadness. However, it is crucial to recognize that sadness does not define a person. Rather, it becomes a chapter in a broader narrative. Roshan's life, like any other, is a mosaic of highs and lows, successes and setbacks. Her resilience in the face of adversity, the ability to navigate personal challenges privately, and the commitment to personal growth in the aftermath of controversies all contribute to a narrative that extends beyond moments of sadness. Turning 60 is a milestone that often prompts reflection on the journey traveled and the path that lies ahead. It is an age where one may confront the complexities of life, grapple with the passage of time, and reassess priorities. Roshan's story invites us to consider not just the outward appearances, but the inward journey, the lessons learned, the personal transformations, and the strength discovered in moments of vulnerability. The public narrative surrounding Roshan's life can only offer a partial glimpse into her reality. It is a re Reality shaped not just by the roles she portrayed on screen, but by the roles of wife, mother, and woman navigating the intricacies of personal and professional realms. The sadness alluded to may be a reflection of the weight carried, the sacrifices made, or the wounds healed over time. In concluding this reflection on Layla Roshan at 60, 
It is essential to approach the narrative with empathy and a recognition of the human behind the celebrity. As we contemplate the theme of sadness, let it serve as a reminder that every life narrative is a symphony of emotions, experiences, and growth. Roshan's journey is ongoing, and as she navigates the complexities of her sixth decade, one can only hope that the narrative, like life itself, continues to unfold with resilience, authenticity, and moments of genuine joy amid the complexities of the human experience. Anyway, that's it for this video, folks. Bye.